Hey dude, Robs. Hey everybody, Buffin here. Thanks for liking, subscribing, commenting below, and thanks for sharing the video. Uh, thanks for being here. This is another video in the Show Key Love series. I'm trying to show Kilo some love. Kilo, the Atlanta rapper. Just wanted to show him some respect and appreciation and love for all the good songs he made and all the good he did and all he'll still do. Just want to show people we care about him. And so Kilo, if you're not familiar, these are the albums I happen to have handy. So look them up, get his albums, listen to his music. Just wanted to talk about something that was on the first album that he had. Uh, it's called America Has a Problem, Cocaine. There's a little thing on the front that says only 15 and already knows the ways of the world. And I was thinking about that, how he was 15 years old when he made this album. Now, that might not sound shocking to you, and that's great. It's great that it doesn't sound too shocking to you that somebody was 15 years old and made an album. Because it's great that a lot of people who are 15 years old and younger are making albums today. And, I mean, there's awesome talent out there. I saw a guy from Gaza rap, like a kid from 12, 10, 12 years old from Gaza rapping in the ruins. It was awesome. It's awesome how many kids are doing things these days. And I don't want to take anything away from kids doing things these days because it's awesome. And y'all are awesome. Um, and everyone's awesome. But... The point I wanted to make about Kilo being 15 and making his first album in 1990 is it was different being 15 in 1990 and making an album and having an album come out. Like, I don't know how he did it, but that, that's amazing. And it's a different world. It wasn't where you could you could get known by putting something on your phone and putting it on the internet. Um, you know, he made an album and people bought the album and it was so good that, you know, people talked about it, shared it with other people, I guess. I mean, I guess it just spread, but, you know, we loved it. We kind of assumed everybody was listening to it. And lots of people listened to Kilo. I mean, he made, God, I don't know, 10, uh, I don't know how many albums he made, but he made a lot of albums. And they're, I mean, they're all good. All the ones I heard are good. It's all good music. Um, the first album was so impressive and especially to be 15 years old, the talent is amazing. But I think back, man, when I was 15 years old, same year, I think we were about the same age. Uh, I was rocking a fitted Phillies cap backwards with my long hair tucked up inside like that girl in the commercials who plays baseball and she takes her hair off and the hair falls down, or she takes her, takes her hat off and her hair falls down, except I wasn't a girl, I wasn't playing baseball. But, uh, yeah, I was wearing a ball cap back then, turned around backwards, which I haven't done much since. But I saw him doing it on the on the cover here. I was like, oh man, I should turn my hat around backwards. It's part of the Show Key Love campaign. And I was listening to Kilo back then at age 15. And, you know, listening to him through the year, all through my high school years. So, you know, always music is really important to you when it's your high school music. But this is also just really good rap, so... Give it a listen if you haven't heard it yet, or if you have, give it a listen again, um, and show them some love. Spread this hashtag, Shoki Love, S-H-O-W-K-I-L-O-V-E, and, you know, let's, let's let this guy know how much we appreciate him. Do the same for other people that you appreciate, but I wanted to focus on Kilo for a little bit here because he's awesome, and uh, so thanks, Kilo. Uh, thanks, everybody, for listening and watching. Um, Thanks for sharing and show, and making your own tributes as well, because uh, that's what it's all about, letting people know. And thanks, everybody, for doing stuff. Like, I, I wanted to make music when I was 15 years old, too. And I think we made an album when I was maybe 17 or 18, but never really got anything till Fox and F-O-X-Z and my band came out with an album maybe about seven or eight years ago now. But uh, I was much older. I mean, decades had gone by by the time I actually made an album. And I had all the benefits of being able to just self-publish stuff. So for Kilo to get an album published, to, to make the album, for Kilo to have made an album like that, at 15, America Has a Problem, Cocaine, to have made that album at 15, and then to have gotten that album out there, that's amazing. And it's, it's a testament to his talent. So if you haven't heard it, it's worth giving a listen. But just wanted to mention that, mention how impressive that was to do that at 15, in the 90s or in 1990 and say thanks to everybody who's at every age whether you feel like you might be too old or might be too young at every age you are thank you for doing stuff and getting it out there and helping inspire other people and letting other people to know do know to do stuff as well so thanks for watching this has been puffin and uh let's show show kilo some love show key love is the hashtag please use it and share it y'all have a great day